Do we really have forests that separate brains? And well, my ultimate goal has always been to help people. I feel like I could do that best by becoming a teacher. A lot of my students, they go, they go through tough situations and they need teachers that, that show that, hey, look, I've been through these tough situations and I've been able to overcome them and you can as well. And I'm here to show you how. I want to be a good role model for these students. I can't be a teacher if I don't have DACA. It really is heartbreaking for me, especially because now I'm, I'm part of the interview process to interview these upcoming students for the next school year. It really didn't hit me until I was interviewing these students. And I'm like, these are some of the students that I'm gonna have next year. But unfortunately, it ends in November. And just be me, me being a teacher for them until that, that point in time, it truly breaks my heart. I do one day want to become a lawyer and practice immigration law and then hopefully one day become an elected official so I can represent the people. Um, and I feel like going through these phases that I'm going through will help me understand what it is that the people need. Well, they need to understand that they're not the only ones that, that are going through this issue. Uh, I'm able to relate with them as much as possible. So I'm just here to help them in any way possible because I was raised here. I'm a product of DISD. I wanted to come back to my alma mater and help out you know, students that want to to be successful in life.